It all starts with ejaculation, where millions of sperm swim through the prostate and into the urethra. The sperm then travel through the cervix and into the uterus, where they'll meet the egg. During ovulation, the cervix becomes thinner and more welcoming to sperm. Fertilization happens when a sperm meets the egg in the fallopian tube. The resulting cell, called a zygote, starts dividing and growing rapidly. After five to six days, the zygote becomes a blastocyst, a tiny ball of cells. The blastocyst then implants itself into the uterine wall, where it'll continue to grow and develop. At around four weeks, the embryo starts producing pregnancy hormones, and the menstrual cycle stops. By week five, the embryo's heart starts beating, and its circulatory system, brain, and spinal cord begin to form. The placenta provides oxygen and nutrients to the growing baby, and removes waste products through the umbilical cord. As the weeks go by, the baby grows and develops, its features becoming more defined. By weeks seven and eight, the embryo has doubled in size, and its little hands and feet start to grow. The baby's senses start to develop, including sight, sound, and touch. The baby's digestive system starts to practice contractions, getting ready for life outside the womb. The baby's skin starts to thicken, and fat layers form, keeping the baby warm and cozy. By the end of the first trimester, the baby is about the size of a strawberry, but its growth is just beginning. Over the next few months, the baby will continue to grow and develop, getting ready to meet the world. As the second trimester begins, the baby's growth accelerates. Its senses become more refined, and it starts to swallow, kick, and even suck its thumb. The baby's skin starts to thicken, and fat layers form, keeping it warm and cozy. The baby's digestive system practices contractions, getting ready for life outside the womb. By week 16, the baby's heart pumps blood through its chambers, and its valves start to form. The baby's lungs start to produce surfactant, a substance that helps them expand and contract properly. As the second trimester progresses, the baby's nervous system matures, and it starts to control its movements. The baby's skeleton changes from soft cartilage to bone, and its muscles start to develop. By week 24, the baby's skin starts to thicken, and its fat layers become more prominent. The baby's digestive system is fully formed, and it starts to practice breathing movements. As the third trimester begins, the baby's growth slows down, but its development accelerates. The baby's lungs mature, and it starts to produce antibodies to fight off infections. The baby's nervous system is fully formed, and it starts to control its movements and reflexes. The baby's skeleton is fully developed, and its muscles are strong enough to support its movements. By week 36, the baby's lungs are fully mature, and it's ready to breathe on its own. The baby's digestive system is fully developed, and it's ready to digest food. As the due date approaches, the baby moves into position, ready to be born. After nine long months, the baby is finally ready to meet the world. Childbirth is a miraculous process that brings new life into the world. 